I'm a competitor, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, you know, I want to try to figure it out and get it perfect right away. That's just not how this game works. The sweeper has come a, lo a long way. It's definitely been a very good out pitch for me. What is it like making that jump from double A AA to triple A? I think the best way I can like compare it is high A and double A is kind of like that college feeling still. You can kind of, you know, out stuff guys. You don't have to worry about many different approaches. Everyone's kind of like got the same approach, maybe for a couple of like different guys, you know, like your top, top guys. The jump from double A to triple A, you know, I'll be honest with you, you know, it, it's been tough. What to this point has been Brandon Sprout's favorite moment of 2024? The 11 straight strikeouts. Have you ever done that before? No, that's the first time ever. 13 punchies is the most I've had, and that's my high, career high. Never gone 11 straight. I didn't even realize it, to be honest, in, in the outing. You didn't even realize it was 11 in a row? No, I didn't realize that I punched a side out three times in a row. And then two more, that's a lot. I had no idea. Vito Calisi, that's Jonathan Barron. We're here with Brandon Sprode, who we haven't seen since spring training. It's been a crazy year for you. I mean, you've been promoted more times than I've been in my entire life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's nice to see you all again. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely been a, a crazy year. Um, you know, ups and downs, many blessings. Um, you know, it's been good. What is it like making that jump from double A AA to triple A? Because we've heard from everybody it's the hardest. Before you get to the big leagues, it's the hardest jump you make. You know, I think the best way I can like compare it is <clears throat> for me, you know, high A and double A is kind of like that college feeling still. Um, you can kind of, you know, out stuff guys. Um, you, don't have to, you don't have to worry about, you know, many different approaches. Everyone's kind of like got the same approach, maybe for a couple of like different guys, you know, like your top, top guys. Um, but no, and you know, the jump from double A AA to triple A, you know, I'll be honest with you, you know, it, it's been tough, um, you know, going from, you know, throwing really well in double A to, you know, not, not doing how I would like, you know, in triple A. Um, and, you know, it's, even though it's very frustrating, it's, you know, it's definitely a, a, a lot of learning that's going on um, behind the scenes. Um, you know, from, you know, pitch sequencing to, you know, reading, reading, reading hitters, reading swings. Um, you know, I think, I think the, one of the guys, the best way they put it was, you know, in high A and double A, you know, you, like I said, you worry about maybe one, two, maybe three different approaches, you know, and in triple A, you know, you're facing veterans, you know, you've got nine different approaches that you gotta, you gotta try to figure out, um, uh, and, and what pitches to throw and how to, how to throw to them. Um, but, you know, I mean, even though, you know, it's been frustrating, it's still still very blessed, you know, to, to be in AAA this year, um, be able to make it up here. Um, like I say, you know, it's been, it's been a good year. A lot of learning has been going on. A lot of learning still happening. Um, but, you know, it's just, just continue to take baby steps. So. Well, that last start you had in AA, it was, I think, 11 straight strikeouts at one point, right? Yeah. And everyone was like, that's enough. We've seen enough. Time. <laughs> We're not, nothing left to prove here in the Eastern League. Um, yeah, you've yeah. had incredible moments. I mean, you've been hitting 100. That's kind of gone viral on the internet. What to this point has been Brandon Sprout's favorite moment of 2024? You know, of course, like, you know, the 11 straight strikeouts, you know, that's... Have you ever done that before? Was that the first time in your no, life? No, that's the first time ever, you know. 13 punch punchies is the most I've had. And that's my high, career high. Um, never gone 11 straight. I didn't even realize it, to be honest, in, in the outing. Um, so, you know, that's, of course, that's up there. Um, so you're on your way to 11. You had no idea. You didn't even realize it was 11 in a row. No, I had. I didn't. I didn't realize that I punched a side out, punched out, out the side three times in a yeah, row. Yeah, it's three times and then two more. That's yeah, a lot. I had. I had no idea. Are you the kind of guy if you have a no hitter going? We've talked with some other guys about this. Do you want everyone to leave you alone, or do you want, or just normal? Talk to me like between innings. No, no. no you know, I'm a type of person that's like, you know. Come up, come and talk to me during the during like in between innings. You know, I'm super super relaxed. Um, but you know, of course, you know if if someone's got a no hitter going, you know, you don't want to be that guy to say something. Like to mention. Uh, yeah, no, that's like the, the cardinal sin. That's a big no -no. Cardinal, cardinal rule. All right. Good to um, know. In baseball. Um, but yeah, you know the that that my last outing in high not high but double A. You know, that was you know that's a, a good moment. Um, you know, each time getting promoted, you know, it's a good moment. Um, being able to see my family um, has been good. Um, I think they're coming. I think they'll, they'll, our last series, um, so it'll be good to see them. Um, so yeah, you know, just those kind of those, those you know, those little, little strides throughout this this year. Um, 
but yeah, you know, that's, those, those, those have been good moments for me. Um, you know, honestly, you know, and even right now, you know, it's, like I said, not throwing how I want to right now. You know, it's been frustrating, but, you know, I know at the end of it, you know, uh, at the end of it, that's you know, there's going to be a big jump. Um, and that's going to be, you know, also a, a good moment um, and be able to look back and realize, you know, what I went through and the reason why I went through it, you know, to, and, the, and the things I learned. Um, but, yeah, you know, just it's been a great year. You know, just like I said, super blessed to be to be where I'm at today. So what have you been working the hardest toward this year? In spring training, we were uh, we worked on my, my back knee. My back knee would cave in a little bit, you know, going down the mound. So being able to stay stacked on, on my back leg a little better, um, that that's something that we worked on mechanically. Um, we work on pitches, you know, like shapes of them here and there. But honestly, really, you know, for me, you know, and kind of like I told y'all in, in the spring, you know, for me is that for something that's a, you know a constant um, progression and something that's always in the works is my mental game. Um, you know, that's that's something that's I'm always, you know, working on um, and I, I know what I need to do, you know, for myself, you know, to be in, in the right spot. Um, and so, you know, I would say that's one thing that I've been, you know, working on um, still to this day. You know, I've been working on it for almost three years now. Um, that's that's one thing that, you know, never you never stop working on. Um, you, that's something, you know, you always try to perfect and get better at and get better at. Um, and so, yeah, you know, that's that's kind of where I'm at right now, you know, especially, especially you know, with not doing how with how I want to right now. Um, Got to really, you know, focus in on that on that mental game um, to, you know, so that way, you know, you don't you don't fall, you know, fall, or, you know, take take two steps back um, with the amount of progression um, that, you know, you could possibly that you possibly have. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's, that's something I've been working on.